Hey guys, Wix100 here, back with another C Sharp tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Zor encryption. Um, but first, I need to explain what Zor is. So, Zor is spelled X O R, and it stands for exclusive OR. Um, so, for example, with exclusive OR, if you have two bits, let's say one and zero, and you use exclusive or and this you have two more bits that you're um, comparing to the, and they are 0 and 1 then what exclusive or does is if it lines the first bit with the first bit and the second bit with the second and if they're different it puts a 1 if they're the same it puts a 0 so since the first one is 1 0 and the second one is 0 one they're both different and your result would be one one but if it was zero one and zero one your result would be um zero zero if it was one zero and one one then your result would be zero one S simple so let's create a new project and i also must specify do not use Zor encryption for actual encryption. It's not secure. Um, this is just a demonstration of Zor as um, an easy way of getting a, the most basic encryption, but it's not useful as an actual encryption method. Just wanted to warn you first. So create a Windows Forms application, call it Zor Encrypt, putting it in my repo folder, create, Okay, and so what we will need is two text boxes and a label. So let's put the first text box and text box is appeared. So let's put another text box and the second text box and a label. Okay, and so what I'm actually going to do, what I don't usually do in these tutorials, but what I will do is I will actually raise the font of this. So let's go to 14. And so all three of these, I want their text to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So eight zeros, because that's how long a byte is. And so resize those properly and let's make those match up there um, and then let's resize this okay and then let's rename these so let's call this data text box let's call this one key text box as an in encryption key and call this result label and so with both of these text boxes we want the max length to be Eight, and we will also go and click this lightning bolt and go to 
key press. Let's call it text boxes key press. So that should take us to look at here we are. And just as we did in the integer converter, we are going to put the same code for um, making sure that it only gets ones and zeros. So if, not id, if not car dot is control e dot key care there we go and e dot key care is not equal to zero and I'm also going to copy this again and say one and so then we say e dot handled equals true okay so then next what we want to do is select them both and do um text changed so let's find text change I'm going to say byte code equals convert that two byte and then we will say uh, data text box that text comma two and so what that's doing is it's reading the um, value from the text box as a binary integer and then converting that to a byte and a byte is the same thing as an integer except it cannot go it um, has a range from 0 to 255 instead of negative 27 million something to positive 27 million something so then we want to have another byte call it key and copy the same thing except key is going to get its data from key text box and so now we're going to say result label dot text equals convert that to string code and then a little up caret which is the zor operator actually I just realized I need a parenthesis up here there we go um, up caret key comma space two and so what that says is we will do the zor operator so it will compare those two bytes bit for bit and then it will convert that code that byte to a string using binary so it will display it as an eight digit binary number instead of a one to three digit um, decimal number and so we can save that and hit start and I made a mistake a minor mistake
but let's go fix that. So this form is actually too small. So let me make that wider and I will stretch these out even though there's no point because they can't go more than eight digits. And so now let's hit start. So now I can actually drag it down towards the center. So let's say, so as you can see, I cannot type anything other than one and zero. And I cannot go past eight digits. So let's use the, that code, one zero, one zero, one zero, one one. And let's say one zero, one zero, one zero, one one for the second one. And as you can see, it results in zero. Um, it's not showing all day, eight digits because all eight digits are zeros and it automatically only it doesn't show you the leading zeros so let's actually add a one there so now it's comparing them and it would be zero one zero 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 again it's not showing the leading zero so let's convert um, let's manually compare this left to right or right to left so these two are both the same, so there's a zero. These two are the same, there's a zero. These two are the same, there's a zero. These two are the same, zero. Same, zero, same, zero. Different, one, same, invisible, zero. So let's put all zeros, and since these two are different, they're both zeros, these two are the same, it's, uh, these four are different, so they're ones. These two are the same, zero. Different, one, same, zero. Different, one, same, zero. Different, one. So you get the point. And uh, let's, let's use that. So if you notice, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. So that means it should be zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. So let's type that in. Zero one one zero zero. I already lost it. Let's say that. So one zero one zero one zero one one. So that's what we want. So one zero one zero one zero one one one, and that gets us what we had before. So if you type this result into the code into the first text box, as long as the second text box is the same, going either direction you can encrypt or decrypt very easily which is why Zor encryption is not good for actual security but it is good for a demonstration on how Zor works so hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial links are down in the description hit the like and subscribe button till next time bye